The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sleep. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Thomas and the Monterey Train. The ancients on the island of Sodor enjoy being busy. They like being busy. And no engine like being busy more than Thomas. But sometimes, Thomas wants to do something more exciting. One morning, Thomas was taking some children to Mammon Station. They were going to catch the express and going to remain and to see the film. Superman and the Escape Spaceship. Thomas arrived at the station. Emily and Packham were there. Hi Thomas! Hi Thomas! Packham was very excited. I'm very excited, whistled Packer. I'm going to be pulling the express for the first time while going somewhere. Toby shunted and rest of Packer's coaches onto the platform. And soon, the train was all ready. There you go, Packer. The train's all ready. And he raced away. Packer was too eager to wait. Can I get ready? He asked Peter. Of course he can, said Peter. But don't couple up just yet. If you do, you'll steam up. Don't worry, I won't, whistled Packer. But he was too excited. Packer backed up toward the coaches. But he was so excited that he didn't notice that two troublesome teenagers were about to climb into his cab and cause havoc. But Packer didn't see. He was talking to Bill and Ben while he was waiting. Ben was troubled. One of the boys hit the lever and Packer rolled backwards. Nearly there, said Bill cheekily. Nearly there, said Ben naughtily. Then Ben was troubled. Packer bumped the couch so hard that they rolled down the line and bumped into Henry. Ouch! What, what you're doing? Henry snorted. Sorry. Packer puffed as he backed down onto his coaches. But he had forgotten what Peter had said. After Packer coupled up, he waited for the passengers to be on board. But the teenagers were playing in his cab. All aboard! Mind the doors! <laughs> Full steam ahead! And he expressed fungus along the track. Then one of them pushed the lever. The signal says go! We're coming through! And one of them leaned out of the cab. Then, before they knew it, Packer started! Leaving luggage, the passengers, and the guard all standing on the platform. Everyone was very surprised, shot, and cross. Come back! They cried. But they were too far away to hear. Packer tried to stop, but he couldn't without his driver. Help! Help! cried Henry. Oh no! cried Peter. The boys are in there and they don't know how to stop it. We must go after them, cried Sheriff. Come on, Thomas, we might need your help. Right, Sheriff, said Thomas. And I'll come too, said Peter. <laughs> you don't know how to stop when they make trains, laughed Thomas. But I, they might need me just in case. Peter climbed on board Thomas' cab, and Thomas set chase at once. Further down the main line, there was trouble. Packham and Henry were going faster and faster, but they didn't know about the farm crossing. Ramon was helping Farmer McCall move his cow across the tracks to a new field, where there's fresh grass to eat. 
but they hardly moved across the tracks at all. Then, the man heard something. Hemi and Packer were coming. He expressed early, and he moved the cow out of the way, and just in time. As the express raced past, faster and faster. Please stop us, cried Henry. By heck, cried the man. Phew, thank you, said Packer happily. Yes, thank you. But will someone please help us? God help!